with all sincerity, I'm going to tell you this is one of the nicest 63 Impalas, one of the nicest cars I have in inventory. They did a nut and bolt frame lock restoration. The intention was just to make it the best car it could be as far as reliability, performance. They didn't go over the top with craziness. They just made it run, drive, function like new. And this is loaded. 63 Impala with a 327 four-speed air-conditioned power windows, power seat. The list goes on and on from there. You can go to volocars.com to look at all the pictures and information, and you'll find a price tag on every car we have along with the monthly payment at volocars.com. But right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you're notified as soon as these videos are listed. <clears throat> so let's check out the body. This is the Sport Coupe. Nice looking car. I love the 63. This hood is absolutely laser beam straight. <coughs> Excuse me. There's not a ripple. I don't see shrinkage. I don't see any sort of issue. This is really as nice as it gets. The door fits spot on, no waves, no bumps. See if it passes the J test, and it does. You know, the, the roof line has these ridges right here. It's supposed to make it look like the convertible top. That's where the top bows would be. But getting back to the body, I am telling you, I'll, I'll put this up against any body or paint job. I don't care if you got a million dollar car, this body and paint, to me, looks incredible. Absolutely slick. Oh, I can feel the factory spot welds and bumps around here. Nice, clean stuff. I still haven't found any issue at all, even way down low. No bumps or bubbles. That door is flush as can be. See how the driver's side does. Nice. It's painted its original silver blue poly, and it is a glass finish. It's all one color. The metal flake is laid out evenly. There's no blotchiness. The clear coat is literally polished like a glass mirror. I'm looking at the reflection of our ceiling, and it is a mirror. It looks like I could reach right in there. Now up front, all the chrome and trim is all new and replaced and fit right. They even put in the reproduction T3 headlamps. This is what I would call a no-expense-spared restoration. You can tell they went the little extra everywhere. Glass is crystal clear. All the moldings are polished and straight. You know, the vent window uh, frames are real nice. All this trim around here is all polished beautifully. The moldings down the side are real nice. It has the 327 cross flag emblem, rear mounted antenna, it has the Impala, Love the round tail lights and all this trim is beautiful. Painted silver in the middle here. It's all replaced. Car has a great stance sitting on some nice big Kringer wheels with BF Goodrich tires. I don't see the size on that one. They look like they're about 17 inch though. That's going to be my guess. And everything looks like brand new. Has the bow tie mirror. It's been on two power tours. That was the intention of building this car, is comfort and reliability. And uh, whoever owned it took immaculate care of it. Looks like it was just finished this morning. So let's open it up. A lot more good stuff to come. Yeah, these Impala's got nice big trunks for on your long haul tour. You can put your luggage back here. And this trunk is like new. Look at underneath here. And it's signed by George Barris. Uh, Sam something from Two Guys Garage, and I'm not sure who that one is, so probably some people I met along the way at some car shows, but it's painted like new, has the stickers, the jam is painted nice, the weather strip is replaced, inside is immaculate clean metal, the gray and white spatter finish, has the three-piece mat, has a tire that's never been used on a painted rim, has a jack assembly, I see a CD changer. I also see all new wiring, so that's like a brand new trunk. We have buy it now buttons on our website. If you see a car you really like, just click that button and get it locked in for yourself before someone else beats you to it. And of course, the salesman is still willing to you know, walk you through and answer questions and all that sort of thing. 
Door jams are really slick. It looks like the hardware and latches are new. Weather strips are replaced. Door panels are pristine. Uh, armrest, window crank for the vent. Notice there's power window switches. This car has factory power windows. We're looking at a beautifully restored dash. The vent, the bezels, everything, the lenses. Has a factory optional tachometer. Also has an optional padded dash. And everything here looks new, probably because it is new. Uh, the heater controls, I'd imagine, yeah, they're electric instead of the old cables, but it looks original. Uh, retro stereo looks original with the right matching knobs. And even the ashtray is clean. Inside the glove box is nice. Working lights. You got kick panel speakers. Blue carpet fits real nice. It has dark blue Impala mats. Some Stuart Warner gauges. That's like they're new, but that Stuart Warner is like vintage stuff. You got the right shifter for a bench seat car. You got seat belts were added. The seats have been re-cushioned and re-upholstered with all correct materials. Same thing in back. It's all like brand new. The floor mats, the upholstery, the moldings, the side panels. Lights work in the uh, headliner. The headliner looks new, and I love it. It's got little stars imprinted in the headliner, so when you're looking up, you're looking at the stars. Got visors, and the mirror looks like new. Steering wheel is new or restored. This is just a really well-built car. All the guys here are talking about it. All the people that touched it and worked on it and had anything to do with it back in the shop are saying, man, that's a nice car. So the motor uh, could be the original. It is dated 1963, uh, where the numbers go on the front was uh, shaved when they built the engine. They you know, go across the engine block, but it's completely rebuilt. It has world product heads on there. A little bit hotter cam. It's got an aluminum intake with an edel. No, that's a dual feed Holly carb under there. HEI ignition in the back. Maybe not HEI, but it is like an MSD distributor. Uh, it's putting out probably closer to 350 horsepower now. I love the big chrome dual snorkel air cleaner. So the engine bay is all nice and clean. The battery is properly mounted, has spring clamp battery cables, aluminum radiator, keeping it cool uh, in combination with the shroud, the original shroud and fan. It's got uh, power steering with an upgraded steering box, upgraded power brakes with a dual reservoir system. Uh, and this here, this is concentrated washer fluid you pour in the washer bottle with water. Got the hood insulation, and like I said, everything's clean and painted and tidy. in the Impala. This is such a beautiful car. I'm going to take you around the block, show you how it drives. And so far pretty fantastic. And I love all the power amenities in here. Everything works really nicely. Let's close these wing windows. But yeah, uh, you know, built for reliability. Long distance, that was the goal. Uh, that's what exactly was accomplished. He wanted an original style Impala with modern amenities, and that's exactly what he did. And it just makes it a lot more pleasurable to drive. Uh, steering's real nice on it. The brakes work really well. Power steering. I am gonna close this vent window. There we go. Let's see what she's got. Turn signal lights up and cancels. Smooth through the gears. Just 
Just like that, up to speed, no problems. We're cruising 60 miles an hour right now, guys. It's gliding over the bumps. The steer's nice and tight. It's straight. Look at this. Turn key and go, baby. I believe the horn works. Yep, there it is. We got a retro style radio in here. Let's see if there's reception. Yep, that works too. Nice. I was playing with uh, the Vintage Air earlier, so that works. I know that for a fact. The heat was working. I believe the AC blows cold too. Uh, the parking brake is hooked up. I had that set when we were uh, in the parking lot there. So yeah, turn key. The only thing that I noticed was that the tachometer is not working, but it's not a deal breaker. You still got the speedometer, that's correct. All the power windows roll up and down very smoothly. Get yourself a nice Impala uh, that's ready to go. I understand what the guy was going for. He wanted to drive a 63 Impala. He didn't want custom Recaro seats and, and all that sort of stuff and digital gauges. He wanted to drive a 63 Impala, but he wanted it to be reliable. He wanted it to be comfortable, uh, you know, with modern, modern air conditioning. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned, it's a power seat as well. It's a really rare option. He has the original upholstery in there. That's what he wanted. Uh, the body was off the frame. The entire underbody is perfectly clean, rust-free metal. Just like at the factory, it was sprayed in a red oxide primer. All of the chassis and suspension was rebuilt. Uh, all the you know, bushings, ball joints, all that was redone. It is upgraded with Bilstein shocks, and it has an upgraded rear suspension, uh, custom box control arms, uh, the custom shocks, a sway bar. Uh, I was supposed to put this back in the, in the trunk. Uh, they took the glove box out to fix the air conditioner, so there's a glove box in there, but it's smaller, and this is just a spare belt. Uh, getting back to the underneath, it does have a dual exhaust with Flowmaster mufflers. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's spotless Chevy orange. It has an auto gear transmission. If you don't know what that is, it looks exactly like a Muncie because it's a reproduction Muncie transmission but it's new. It's not a rebuilt trans. You are getting a new Muncie four-speed uh, built by Auto Gear. It has 323 Posi rear end and back. Uh, upgraded with disc brakes in front. The whole rest of the system was rebuilt. The e-brake cables, the lines, all of that was replaced. Fuel system was all replaced. Uh, so underneath this car is really, really nice with some nice upgrades. Uh, and I did confirm the wheels are 17 inch. So go to volocars.com, salesman will help answer whatever questions you have left and uh, get it delivered to your door, get your finance too if you need it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, you'll be notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.